Welcome back to Realistic Fishing. I'm over here at the club to fish with some finesse Texas rigs. Over the last few days, the bite has really slowed down for some reason. So I'm out here downsizing it, trying to get anything at all. Let's see what I can get on a finesse Texas rig. Yeah, this is what we're going with right here. Let's check my drag in case I get a big one. Fish, fish on. All right. Yeah, yeah, here we go. We got a little largemouth bass here. Got them on that natural worm. Yeah, good looking fish. You know, maybe a half pound. What was that, first cast? Yeah, yeah. Let's let him go. Yeah, let's get this straightened out and do it again. I'll show you my rig here. We got a 1 16th ounce worm weight, a size 1 EWG, and this is a cream worm here. I just want to make sure that hook point is just barely hidden, just like that, so that it's weed proof but if a fish grabs it, I can still hook them. I can hear some cicadas out here. Hi, this is Brayden from Michigan, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Fish. There we go. What do we got? Another bass? All right. Nice. Hooked in the bottom of the mouth right here. Yeah, good fish. Just about the same size as that last one. Maybe a little bit smaller, but it's pretty thick for its size. Yeah, Royale with cheese right here. Good looking fish. Not the largest, but I'm happy to be catching anything right now. Nice. Let's get my tiny Texas rig settled here. Let's continue to make our way down, see if we can't find any more bass. So far I got two small bass. And I'm actually happy with that. It's been pretty tough the last couple days. Who knows, might hook into a big one, even with a small bait like this. We'll see how it goes. The water is pretty much flooded. I mean, look at that chair out there. That thing is underwater. Like I said, it's been raining. So far, fishing the flooded bank is pretty cool. 
I've got some small nibbles, you know, from panfish, I'm guessing, but also a couple of bass big enough to go for it. Oh, I was on the roof of that little building right there. Gonna work our way down the bank. I think there was someone else fishing down that way, so we're not gonna go very far. This is Roman from Roman Castro Vlog, and you're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. Yeah, it feels like I was having more luck over there by the trees. fish. There we go. Got another small bass about the same size as those other couple. Yeah, these quarter pounders here love this tiny Texas rig. Let's let them go. Sweet. Yeah, three bass so far on the little Texas rig here. Doing well. We're gonna start making our way back. And there we have it. A quick little up and down trip of the bank right here. And I got three largemouth bass. Of course, they weren't very big because my Texas rig wasn't very big, but it goes to show you can catch bass on small Texas rigs. Well, I was about to leave, but then I thought, why not stick around and cast this Strike King structure bug around? Maybe, just maybe we can get a big bass out of here. I'm just gonna drag it along the bottom swim it through that flooded grass. Way up there in this fish. I think I got a fish. Do I have a fish or just bushes? I thought I had a bite. Oh, missed him. This is Jersey Joel from Jersey Joel Fishing. You're watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic. fish. Look at that. One more bass before it's time to go. Yeah, look what I got here. Huh? Bonus fish on the Strike King structure bug. I think it's a rage bug, right? Strike King Rage Tail Structure Bug. It has a hundred names, but it catches bass. Yeah, good one. Another quarter pounder, almost a half pounder. Let's let him go. Well, how about that? I stuck around for a few more casts, got one more bass, but now it's really time to go. Thanks for watching Realistic Fishing. Keep it realistic.